Welcome to Time for Tunes at Wood Library. I'm Mary Ferris, the children's librarian, and let me introduce my friend to you. This is Shrinking Violet. Now, Violet is very shy, so we have to coax her out. Violet, I've got some friends for you to meet. So come on out. Can you tell what Violet is? She's a flower, isn't she? Yes. So let's turn her around, push her petals back, and, oh, she's still hiding. Violet, please come out. That's right, our friends are here. So come on out and say hi. Oh, I know she's very shy. Do you think you could try? Okay, I'll count to three. And when I say three, you say hi, okay? Okay, one, two, three. Did you say anything? Should we try again? Okay, one, two, three. You still didn't say anything, did you? She wonders if you could go first. If I count to three, will you say hi? Let's try. One, two, three. They did it, didn't they? So now it's your turn. Here we go. One, two, three. That's probably the best we can do. Now, Violet, did you pick out some stories for our friends? Oh, oh, this looks like a good one. Let me see. Oh, yes. I'll put you right there so you can see. This is called I Can Help. It's by David Hyde Costello, and it looks like it's about a duckling. This is published by Ferrer, Skrauss, and Guru. There's the duck. Oh, I'm lost. I can help. Who's helping? Monkey, yes. Thank you, monkey. Oh, can you see who's there? Looks mom, like mommy and brothers and sisters. Uh-oh, I'm falling. I can help said giraffe. You see, he caught him, didn't he? Thank you, giraffe. Uh-oh, I can't reach. I can help, said gorilla. How do you think gorilla could help? Let's see what he does. Oh, look, he's hanging from the tree and it brings it down, so Giraffe can get some leaves. Thank you, Gorilla. Uh-oh, I have a splinter. Can you put a piece of wood in his finger? I can help, said the bird. And he pulled out the splinter. Thank you, Sunbird. Uh-oh. I'm tired, said the sunbird. I can help, said the elephant. Thank you, elephant. Uh-oh, I'm hot and thirsty, said elephant. I can help, said duck. Follow me. Can you guess where Duck is going? Right down to the river. Thank you, Duck. You're welcome. Uh-oh. I'm lost again. We can help, said all of his new friends. 
says on the back something that's very true. A little help goes a long way. I liked how each animal helped the next one along. Well, let's do a finger play about some ducks. Can you put up your five fingers? And we're going to pretend each one of those fingers of yours is a baby duck. And with your other hand, can you make a mouth like a mama duck would have? Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but none of the five little ducks came back. So the sad mother duck went out that day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 quack. And all of the five little ducks came back and Mama was so happy to see them she gave each one of them a great big kiss. And the little ducklings were so happy to see their Mama they kissed her back. Well, we're going to have a story about some more little birds, but I'm pretty sure that these are baby geese. I'm not sure. This is a book by Olivier Dunria, and it's called Jasper and Jupe, A Perfect Pair. One tidy, one messy. And I think I'm going to pull my camera a little bit closer because this book is I want to be sure you can see the pictures. This is published by Houghton Mifflin. This is Jasper. This is Jupe. I like that name, don't you? Jasper is a small white gosling, that means a baby goose, who likes to be tidy. Jupe is a small gray gosling who likes to be messy. Each morning, Jasper tidies his nest and puts on his cap and tie. Each morning, Jupe rumples his nest and musses his feathers. Jasper pokes his head outside. It's wet, he says. Jupe pokes his out head outside. It's wet! He hogs. Jasper jumps over the puddle. Mm, too wet, he says. <laughs> Jupe splashes into the puddle. Too wet, he honks. Jasper and Jupe scurry to the piggery. Come play, squeal the piglets. Jasper shakes his head. Jupe gleefully leaps into the mud. Jasper stares at Jupe. Muddy mud, says Jasper. Jupe stares at Jasper. Muddy mud, honks Jupe. Jasper and Jupe scamper to the hen house. Come play, cheep the chicks. Jasper shakes his head. Jupe rolls in the straw. Jasper stares at Jupe. Dusty straw, he says. Jupe stares at Jasper. Dusty straw, he honks. I think he likes it. Jasper and Jupe 
Scoot to the beehive. Buzz, warn the bees. Jasper looks and listens. Jupe sticks his bill right into the beehive. Jasper stares at Jupe. Jupe stares at Jasper. Run! Jasper honks. Jasper and Jupe hide in the grass. Run! Jasper honks. Jasper and Jupe hide in the mud. Run! Jupe honks. Jasper and Jupe run to the pond. Splash! Jasper and Jupe jump into the pond. Jasper stares at Jupe. Jupe stares at Jasper. What fun! Honk Jasper and Jupe. Jasper laughs and flaps his wings. Jupe stands on a rock and honks. They are the best of friends. <laughs> All right, well, can we do another finger play? Let me think which one we could do. Maybe we could do one about bees. Remember there were bees? And Jupe stuck his beak right into the beehive. It wasn't a very smart thing to do, but can you make a fist with your hand like this? And to me, that looks a lot like a beehive. So here is a beehive, but where are the bees? Why, they're hiding inside where nobody sees. Let's count them as they come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. And what do we know bees like to say? Bzzz. And can you have them go right back in the hive? Should we do that again? Okay. Here is a beehive, but where are the bees? They're hiding inside where nobody sees. Let's count them as they come out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Well, I think we're going to keep this a short program for our first one back. So we're going to go right to the flannel board and have a story called The Friend. So let me just get a little closer here. Does that work? Well, once upon a time, there was a snail. I'm lonely, said snail. I want a friend. Well, an ant ran by. Will you be my friend? Snail asked. Oh, not now, said the ant. It's going to rain and I need to hide in my hole. You can come with me if you want. Oh, I can't, said Snail. My shell won't fit. Well, the ant ran on. Nobody wants a friend in a shell, said Snail. Nobody. A shell can't get into a hole. Not at all. Well, then who should come along but a big green grasshopper? Will you be my friend? Snail asked the grasshopper. Not now, said grasshopper. It's going to rain, and I have to get under a leaf to keep my wings dry. Come along with me. Oh, I can't, said Snail. My shell can't hop. Oh, sorry, said Grasshopper as he hopped away. And poor Snail said, nobody wants a friend who has a shell that can't hop. My shell won't fit in a hole. My shell won't hop. And I'm still lonely. Well, just then, a baby robin came jumping into the clearing. Will you be my friend? asked Snail. Not now, said Robin. It's going to rain, and I have to fly up to my nest, but come with me. Oh, I can't, said Snail. My shell can't fly. Well, jump out of your shell, said the baby Robin. I can't, said Snail. Try, said the Robin. It won't work, said Snail. You see, a shell is stuck. Sorry, said the Robin, and... 
he flew away. Well, just then, it started to rain, and poor Snail was feeling so sorry for himself. It's raining, he said, and I don't have a single friend. My shell won't fit into a hole. I can't hop with my shell, and I can't fly with my shell. What am I to do? Ant has a hole. Robin has a nest. Grasshopper has a leaf to hide under. But what can I do to get in out of the rain? <laughs> Pull your head into your shell, said a voice. And who came into the clearing? But a turtle. That's what a shell is for, said Turtle. A shell keeps off the rain. And a shell keeps you safe. Hmm. Well, let me try, said Snail. So Snail pulled his head inside his shell. And Turtle did the same. I never thought of doing this, said Snail. Now I have a place to go. Not only that, said Turtle, you have a friend. And I have a friend. I have a friend who has a shell. So Snail and Turtle sat in the rain together, listening to the raindrops falling on their shells. So that's a story about two friends, Turtle and Snail. And those are our stories for today. I hope you'll come back and join my friend. Let's get her back up here. Violet, next time that it's time for twos here at Wood Library. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.